Hi, this is Chuck Birch coming to you today from New Tech Machinery. Um, today we're going to be loading the coil. Um, we're going to go up and untape it, bring it down, snip the corners appropriately, and then we're going to thread it up. And this machine here does have notching, so we're going to load it into the notching system. First, I'm going to get up here and we'll get the tape off. And most of the time you take the tape off of it, tape comes off clean, uh, you're good. If it doesn't come off clean, then you're gonna have to either cut it. Uh, if you have residue on it, I recommend just cutting the rest of the tape off. Luckily, it looks like I might be getting this off clean, no residue, so we'll be good to go. We drop our coil down here. I always like to turn this a little bit to make sure we're kind of loose, so we're not over tightened so I can pull it. So we're good there. I can go ahead and push it on up that way to where I could reach it, the entry into the machine. We're gonna go ahead and pull the coil on over and make sure it's lined up to the appropriate place. At this point, once I get enough material over here, we're gonna cut the corners. Normally a two by two or a Three by three triangle is sufficient. You don't have to cut it back too far. Set that there, put the snips there. I'm gonna pull off a little bit more material here, is what I like to do. And then go ahead and tighten up the brake and add just a little bit of tension to it. That way our coil won't keep running once we start treading up. And you want it just tight enough to act as a brake, but not too tight to where it's not, the machine's gonna have a hard time pulling the material through. I'm gonna look down in here and get that side threaded up. Come over and get that side, and then we're gonna pull it on up in there. Then I'm gonna walk up on front, walk up to the front, go ahead and get it started. Go back here and once we get the material set up here, we do have the forward and reverse uh, jog here and we do have an emergency stop back here if you ever need to use it. And then while you're threading it up, don't just go real hard with it, go slow. And if you ever get it to where you hear a, a non-normal noise that doesn't sound quite right, just go ahead and stop the machine open the cover up and take a look at it rather than really crashing it hard and making it difficult for you to get the panel out. So we're gonna go ahead and watch and remember listening for the material coming through and you don't have any issues. Uh, should come all the way through, nice and clean, take your time. So it comes out, panel looks really nice. We're gonna go ahead and cut it, pull it out and panel looks really nice. We're all good.